Hello everyone, welcome to the Spoil Market Partners YouTube channel. My name is Mitchell Parsonage and today I'm going to talk to you about a Revit plugin designed by Dyrex called Reordering. I will leave a link below to the download section of their website if you like the tool and want to grab it for yourself. If you would like to know how to download and install it in a bit more detail, you can check out the first video in the series called One Filter, which goes into a little more detail on that process. So let's get started with reordering. Reordering is a free Autodesk Revit plugin that allows you to renumber Revit elements or instance parameters by using a prefix, a suffix, and a multiplier. You can do it randomly, one by one, or using a detail line. So let's get into the interface just to see what it looks like. Open up reordering and the first thing that we can talk about is the fact that this window is a modal window. So if I double click on the word reordering, it will collapse it and I can continue to interact with my model in the background while the tool is running. In the top left hand corner, I have my element selection options over here. Firstly, we'll start with the whole model. If I have whole model selected, and I take a look at my categories list, notice that I have a slider here, which gives me quite a few categories. If I switch that to active view, my categories list reduces. So an example of this would be if I have three desks, two desks are on level one, one desk is on level two. If I wanted to renumber all three of them, whole model would be required. If I just wanted to renumber the two that are in the view on the, on the first floor plan, active view would be the choice. I then have new selection. If I click new selection, it allows me to physically reach into my model and select elements that I would like to work with. Click finish and those items would be loaded. Finally, I've got current selection. So current selection requires me to select elements before I open the tool. And then current selection will be automatically triggered and I'll be able to work with those elements. For the sake of simplicity, we will start by renumbering these five desks here in a very simple manner. So I won't select them right now. I will just click on reordering. I'll make sure that active view is selected. My categories, I will choose furniture. And the nice thing here as well is that you have a family type selection that you have available to you. So I can actually specify the type that I want or I can just go all. But for me, I'm doing the desks, so I will tick desks. Notice that I have seven desks that populate here rather than five. That is because two are being used in my physical model. What I would like to do here is simply just renumber the mark value or give them a mark value to start with. So the instance parameter that I want to affect here is going to be the mark value. Starting number can be whatever it is you want it to be, 001 for example. And then I've got a multiplier option. I'll set that to one because I just want them to increase incrementally. Then I've got the option to add a prefix as well as a suffix if I would like to do that. So maybe I could do something like fur for furniture and then I will click apply. If I take a look at my physical model now, I will notice that my mark values have been filled in. Notice how this desk starts with number three, then four, five, six, seven. So if I don't specify things specifically, what the program will do is it will apply the mark values in the order that the elements were created. So that was the first desk that I placed into this project. That was the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. So it will place them or it will renumber them in that order. If I would like to specify the order in which they are named, what I can do is draw a detail line that actually intersects all of the elements. So for these five, for example, I can go to my annotate tab, select detail line and the direction that I draw is very important. So if I draw from left to right, it will number from left to right. If I draw from right to left, it will number from right to left. I'll go from right to left, for example, and I'm going to go and open up reordering. I will begin by filling out my details as I did before. So the category is going to be furniture. I only want my desks. I get my full list of all of the desks that I have in my project. Now, before I start to fill in the values, what I would like to do is I have an ordering section down here at the bottom where I've got three options, manually, crossing, as well as vertex. So I'm gonna be using the crossing example here. And basically what it means is any item that you have specified that the detail line crosses through will be renumbered. Before I start filling in this information, what I wanna do is I want to click on this detail line. Make sure that that detail line is selected. Choose my mark value. 
choose my starting number again. Notice how all of these options highlight at the bottom over here. Prefix can stay the same. And this time I'm going to click on crossing. When I click on crossing, notice what happens to this list on the right hand side over here. It reduces because I have got two desks that are not being crossed by my detail line. So they will not be renumbered. Only these five will be renumbered. Once I've done that, I can say apply. And if I take a look at my desk, starting from the right hand side, it'll be 001 moving towards the left. And notice how none of my other desks have been changed. If I would like to renumber my elements in an inconsistent order, crossing might not work for me with the detail line. So what I would do here is I would use the manual technique. Once I've filled out my criteria, I'm gonna click on manually. So what it will do is bring up a little bar over here, signifying that the value to apply to furniture number one. So the first thing that I click on will be labeled as fur 001. So I can click on any order that I want here and I can just make up the order as I go, applying incrementally. Once I'm happy with my decisions, I can hit the little green tick. When you see green under the mark column over here, it means that it's already been applied, so you don't need to go and actually click apply. If I collapse this and I take a look at the information, I will see that starting here is number one, then I went here to two, three, four, and five. So if you don't want to renumber things in a linear fashion, the manual tool would be the best option. Then finally, we will take a look at the vertex option. A vertex by definition is each angular point of a polygon or other figure. For example, if I draw lines like that, my vertices are my start point, my end point, and every point that I change direction. So basically everywhere that I click will produce a vertex. So what this allows you to do, and we'll use rooms as an example here, is that I have five rooms in this project. Perhaps I want to renumber the kitchen, then to the bathroom, then to the master bedroom, and I want to ignore the lounge as well as the bedroom. So I just want to renumber those three. I can use my vertex tool to do that. Again, I need to give myself a detail line. So I will start my detail line command. Starting with the kitchen, I will click in that space go towards the bathroom, click in that room, go towards the master bedroom, click inside of that room. And as you can see, there are my three vertices, one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, one in the master bedroom. Coming to my reordering, the category is going to be rooms. Type selection is gonna be all. I get a list of all five of my rooms. The parameter that I would like to change here is gonna be the number. Starting number, let's say is 001. And then I need to select the line before I choose my ordering options. So I'm going to just hover over my detail line, press tab to select the entire detail line. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna click vertex. Notice how my list decreases to only three, which is the three rooms that contain the vertices. And then I'm gonna click apply. If I collapse that, I will notice that I've got my kitchen renamed as one, bathroom two, and master bedroom as three. If I want to verify my numbers and my names of my elements, I can click on these elements that are listed over here and I can right click, select elements. Alternatively, I can right click and find elements, which will bring them to the center of my screen. And finally, I can remove the elements from this list as well. Something worth mentioning is the starting number does need to be a number. I can't type normal text in here. I can type text, however, in the prefix as well as the suffix fields but I will always have to have a number in between. The multiplier, I can also change that to let's say two or to three, and you can see what's happening here to the number is that it's starting with one and it's multiplying by two, so two, four, six. Reordering is a great, simple to use, free tool to quickly renumber the elements that you have in your project. That is everything that I wanted to share with you about the reordering tool. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. See you in the next video.